Welcome to Explore the Way. In today's video, I am going to explain steady state electrical behavior of CMOS. To understand steady state behavior, first of all we have to understand logic levels. CMOS logic levels. In CMOS, 0 to 1.5 volts is, is represented as low 3.5 volts to 5 volts is represented as high when the supply voltage is 5 volts. Actually in logic circuits the output of one gate is connected to the input of another gate. Suppose let us consider such a situation. This is the CMOS inverter. The output of this gate is connected to the input of another inverter or any other gate. Now, the first inverter output is in low level and here the voltage is 1.5 volts. So, this 1.5 volts is transmitted to the input of another gate. But in real cases at the input of this inverter is never be 1.5 volts. Some noise will be added during transmission. Suppose due to noise this voltage become 1.8 volts. But this 1.8 volts not at all treated as low voltage which is neither low nor high. So which is in the undefined region. This is the problem. So only the range of voltages for low and high states are not sufficient in real situations. So we need more conservative logic levels. In real cases there is a need to represent low and high states at the input of the gate as well as at the output of the gate. So the more conservative logic levels are Maximum output voltage in the low state. Maximum input voltage in the low state. And minimum input voltage in the high state. Minimum output voltage in the high state. These are the values must be required for a logic family. This is the VOL max, VIL max, VIH minimum, VOH minimum. VOL max is is at point one volt. VIL max is thirty percent of VCC. R 0.3 VCC. VIH minimum is 70% of VCC. And this value is VCC minus 0.1 volt. Now let us calculate all these voltage levels when VCC is equal to 4.5 volts. When VCC is 4.5 volts, VOH minimum is equal to 4.5 minus 0.1 volt which is equal to 4.4 volts. VIH minimum is equal to 0.7 VCC which is equal to 3.15 volts. VIL max is equal to 30% of VCC which is equal to 1.35 volts and VOL max is equal to ground plus 0.1 volt which is equal to 0.1 volt. Now let us calculate noise margins. 
what is noise margin noise margin is the amount of voltage that is allowed during transmission without affecting its worst case logic levels let us consider one example the output of one inverter is connected to the input of other inverter so in the uh, suppose the output of this inverter is in the low state so at the input of this inverter also also in low state so at the input it allows up to maximum input voltage in the low state is 1.35 volts so it can allow it can allows up to 1.35 volts in the low state and here 0.1 volt in this case what is the maximum noise allowed during transmission is 1.35 volts minus 0.1 volt which is equal to 1.25 volts which is called low state noise margin how can you write low state noise margin low state noise margin is equal to this difference v i l max minus v o l max next we'll consider the same for high state in the high state actually our high state starts from vcc but due to noise the voltage level may be reduced so at the input of this gate what is the minimum value it allows the minimum values the minimum value it allowed at the input of input in the high state is 70% of vcc and what is the minimum value at the output at the output here the value is 4.4 volts so the minimum value at the output is 4.4 volts but during transmission its value may be reduced up to 3.15 volts then what is the noise margin here the difference of these two voltages that is 4.4 volts minus 3.15 volts which is equal to 1.25 volts this is called high state noise margin which is equal to v o h minimum minus v i h minimum this is the high state noise margin low state noise margin and it is high state noise margin and if you see the values for this cmos actually these values are for hc series cmos hc series hc series is nothing but high speed cmos now here the low state noise margin is 1.25 volt high state noise margin also 1.25 volts actually these two noise margins need not be equal but in this case for this cmos the noise margins are good this is about cmos logic levels and noise margins hope you understood this concept in the upcoming videos i am going to explain the remaining concepts to understand steady state electrical behavior if you need the remaining concepts stay tuned to our channel thank you